Hello everyone, welcome back to part uh, 15 on how to create a similar game in Roblox. Before I start this tutorial, I just want to tell you guys that uh, I see a lot of people in my comment section saying, please give us the scripts, uh, give us the scripts in the description, or they do not work, or give us a free model. Please, I will not be doing that. Because if I do that, nobody's going to watch my tutorials. They'll just go to the link in the description, grab the free model, and close off the tutorial. They'll just uh, ungroup stuff in replicated storage and other stuff like other free models. But no, I can't do that. Because you won't learn anything. And I won't uh, earn anything. Be and uh, the second thing I, the second, uh, thing I want to say is that uh, everything you see here is made by me. And everything works because I see some people saying I stole these scripts. They're not made by me. Everything is made by me. And uh, the third thing I want to say is I will not be able to upload uh, much next week because I have a ton of exams. So don't expect much. I, uh, so let's start. What we're going to do in this tutorial is making some game passes so game passes are a very interesting way to monetize your game since it's kind of the only way besides dev products or making the game paid access but don't make similar paid access it's useless nobody's gonna buy it because there are other simulators so to monetize our game we will have game passes what we'll be doing is making some game passes in the tutorial and also make putting these inside of a settings frame now uh i'll show you how to make a game pass button which we'll start by doing right now so we're gonna add a text button or maybe i'm, I'm just going to duplicate to duplicate this one and rename this one to shop let's center it right here and we'll change the text to shop we'll maybe get an emoji so just hold window the windows key and m oh no sorry and uh period and it should bring this up so i will look for a shop emoji i think so let's look for a shop emoji i don't think that even exists yeah i don't think it exists Wait, let me try that again. Shop. Yeah, let's put this as an emoji. Or some simple UI. Or that looks kind of bad, so let's just put it back at shop. And what we'll be doing is renaming this button to shop. Open. And then you want to add a frame, which will be our Robux shop. Or for now, we're not going to be doing that right now. We'll just put this as the button that will prompt the game pass. So rename this to uh, maybe speed game pass. Don't worry, we will have uh, other game passes like two times coins, two times stuff, and maybe pet slots. I'm not too sure about that though. So what are we going to be doing? is remove any scripts from this button and you want to go to roblox.com so go to google or your browser roblox.com and then you want to look for i think it was uh, yeah you go to create you try to find your place uh, if it's a group in a group go to group creations if it's not go to my creations and what we'll be doing is scroll all the way down and try to find your game so for me it's gonna be this if i can actually find it uh, all right so it's this what i'm gonna be doing is go to the store press the plus icon 
and then you want to go choose file select anything i'm just going to select a random icon maybe i'm just going to select the maybe let's get a close button put your icon and rename this to two times speed let's put the description to give uh, to run faster and press preview and verify upload and then you want to press the little three dots over the settings icon and go to sales put item for sale and put your price for me it's just going to be one robux and we'll go to detail and then you want to copy this number that's right here and then you want to add a local script to your button and you want to re rename the local script to prompt and then you want to create a variable for marketplace service so let's put mps is equal to game come get service marketplace service and then you want to create a variable for your id for me it's going to be this and then what you want to do is script.parent dot mouse button and click on connect function and what you want to do is actually create a variable for the player so let's put our player variable at the top local plr is equal to game dot players dot local player and inside of here you want to do mps com prompt um game pass purchase plr uh dot user id i think let's check that in the roblox dev hub so prompt game pass purchase let's check if it needs a so it needs the player so it does not really need the player id so we just need plr and then we need to send the id and if you go ahead and play the game right now you should see that it prompts the game pass okay so let's wait for this to load and i glitched so just press speed game pass and i already own this item but if i go ahead and delete it from my inventory and play the game again i should be able to buy it so if you go ahead and play the game and press speed game pass third party sales all right so to fix this if you want to so you want to stop Go to game settings, go to permissions or security and enable studio access and third party sales and HTTP request. Now we're not going to need this since we're not using HTTP service. But if you go ahead and play the game right now, it should work properly. And as you can see, it shows the project and it shows the price and if you press buy now you'll own the game pass but this is test purchase so it won't charge you anything and what you want to do after that is go back to your prompt script close other tabs and then if you go to the dev hub there is something called prompt game pass uh i think it was prompt game pass purchase requested or prompt game pass purchase finished so it needs the player game pass id and if it was purchased so to use this what you want to do is mps dot and then you want to do that or let's put is equal to function or let's do hmm connect function yeah i think it's yeah it's a function uh what we're gonna do is plr dot character dot humanoid dot rook speed is equal to let's put 32 and if you go ahead and play the game right now it should work properly 
So if we go ahead and buy the speed game pass, and I think it didn't. But let's go to uh, Polaris Prague, which is me. And we'll get our humanoid. And if you go ahead and check the world speed. Okay, so I know why this happened. But if we buy this, it should change our world speed to 32. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it works properly. But we have a little problem though. What we'll be doing is we have a little bug. What if the what, what if the player applicates their speed and then buys the game pass? That's gonna result in a problem. So uh PLR or let's create a variable for the character local character is equal to plr dot character or plr dot character added con weight and then you want to create a variable for the humanoid so local humanoid is equal to character con weight for child and humanoid so after doing that what you want to do is go here and the humanoid dot walk speed dot changed con connect function and then if you go to the dev hub again there is something called game pass um i think it was user owns game pass i think user own game pass async yeah and you just send the user id so you can do if plr if mps dot user owns game pass async and i think the way you use it yeah user owns game pass async and you send the user id so let's do MPS, let's make sure that it's a function. The user owns. <clears throat> yeah, con user owns game pass async. And you send the ID. So you gotta send the plr.user ID. And then you gotta send the ID. Then. What we're gonna do is wait one second and humanoid the walk speed is equal to humanoid the walk speed multiplied by two, which is two times speed. And then what you wanna do is go ahead and play the game. And I'm pretty sure this should work. So I'm um, fast right now, so let's go to our humanoid object. And if you go ahead and check the walk speed, it's 46, which is a problem. Ooh, I know why. It's in line 14. So it says main shop open. Uh, Attempt index nail with changed to index number with changed. Yeah, so to fix this, what we're going to do is instead of this, we're going to use a while loop. So while to do, we're going to wait two seconds and then hmm. Let's create a variable for the old speed, local old speed is equal to, let's set it to zero. And we're going to do, hmm, we have a little problem. Okay, so I'm going to think about this and try to fix it. All right, so I'm back and I realized that what I did was pretty dumb. 
So what I did is, let's just uh, control Z all of this. And what I did is checking if this changed, but you don't, you should not do this. You should do humanoid con get property. Con get property change signal. Uh, let's check that on the dev hub. Property changed signal I think it was get property change signal yeah so if you copy this so it needs the property so property change signal and you want to do walk speed come on connect function and then if you go ahead and play the game right now, I'm pretty sure this should work. All right, so we have some errors. Now that's just the sound data. So as you can see, we our walk speed. So let's go to humanoid. And if you go ahead and check our walk speed, it's 46. And if we buy the speed game pass, It'll go up to 32, and after one second, it should be multiplied by two, hopefully. Hmm. That's a bit of a problem. So, I think we should fix this in the next tutorial, because we already made the speed game pass. All we need now is a way to check to duplicate this multiply the speed by two when it changed so i think this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i will see you all in the next video bye